Well, hello everyone, and welcome to my first ever setting your Thanksgiving table. We're trying a bunch of new things here, so we're gonna make sure that all of the technology is working and that we are going to share with you over the next, I don't know, 15, 20, 30 minutes, however long you wanna hang, um, some of these great ideas that we have over at temptations.com. We've curated a container of all of these great items, and um, we are so excited to have you come and shop with us. So I'm waiting for Lisa to give me a thumbs up that we are good and ready to roll. It seems like it. And Carla is the first one on the board saying hello. Hi, Carla. So good to see you. Ask if they can see you. Can you see me? Hi. Okay. Annette saying hi from Winston-Salem. Margie saying hi. Oh, I love this. Megan Flanagan. Hello, Tara and Lisa. Rita. Oh, this is like a dream come true. It takes a village to make this all happen. So to my incredible team, thank you for pulling this off. It is very exciting. Um, hey, Rosalia. Hi, Cricket. Hi, Marianne. Ah, we are going to have so much fun because we have curated an entire container of all of kind of my picks over at temptations.com that has uh, everything you could possibly need to set your Thanksgiving table. Hello, Kay. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Margaret. But I wanted to have a little bit of a drum roll and start with, of course, my latest and greatest Tara's must have. Has Mr. Tesher joined yet, Lisa? Not that I can see. Hmm, someone's in trouble. Um, and that is our latest and greatest Tara's must have. And by the way, you've already been shopping it. You've, uh, hey, Greg, hey, Linda, you've already been sneak peeking it because Lisa and I have had it behind us in so many of our great videos and so many of our lives. Um, oh, Rosalia said she already ordered it. And that is home. And the reason why I wanted to start with it is I think it just grounds the whole message, not only of the holiday, not only of gathering family and friends back around the table, but of our entire brand. Oh, Ed Tesher's here. Yes, he is. Everyone tell her. <laughs> He's like, I'm here. I'm here. I promise. Um, okay, so here's the scoop. We have over at temptations.com, our letters. We have them in our harvest, which is absolutely beautiful. So you're gonna receive four of our wood letters, solid on the back, beautiful harvest detail on the front. Look how sweet the O in home. We use our icon of our beautiful pumpkin. How fun is this? And then of course the M and the E. You can layer these on a mantle. You can put them down a sideboard. You can have so much fun with these. And there's two choices. So obviously this is going to be our harvest choice with of course our, our sweet pumpkin. And then, oh, I had to just for effect. And I just wanna show you how easy. In pure white, we're gonna go and I'm gonna actually have Kevin uh, zoom in a little bit in just a minute. Let me get it all set up first. Lisa's coming close. I think she thinks I can't do this, but I can do this. <laughs> she's like, mm-hmm, okay. And then she's gonna go, okay, short arms, grab that E. How's that gonna work out? All right, look at this, kind of, kind of. Look at this in our beautiful holiday. And the reason why I wanted to zoom in was so that you could see we did a beautiful snow globe with all of our characters right here in the middle. There's Gumdrop. There, of course, is Penny. Don't forget Mr. Bow Jingles. Wimbly, Wimbly like kind of got his uh, antler cut off, but I figured if anyone could take it, it was him. And then we have Santa down at the bottom. So your letters, of course, have that beautiful vintage bulb detail that you see right there. And then look how beautiful sitting on a red pedestal. These are so much fun and truly all about not only Thanksgiving, not only Christmas, but truly what makes our home a home, whether it's the people that we invite into it, whether it's the traditions that we carry along with it, truly at the heart of it. It's why I really wanted to curate this, make it a Terra's must have. Couldn't be more excited about it. Um, both are beautiful. Love that. Maura's saying she loves it. The Fab Five characters. Cheryl, great idea. I love that. Everything's beautiful. I'll be ordering. Love to hear all of that. Okay. So I am going to take back and put back up our beautiful harvest one. And then we're going to jump on in and start talking about the sweet little um, bundle that we put together over at Temptations. Dot com. I'm going to start with the E. I'm going to shake things up. That's not easy, by the way. Is that upside down? I'm like, what? Upside down and backwards, she said. 
I don't think it's backwards, but it's definitely upside down. I'm like, oh, I'm so fancy, but why does that look weird? I'm so fancy. Okay. Woo! There was a bet going on whether that could be at all achieved. So high five. Woodland tea set. Oh, don't you worry, Jeremy. Uh, Sandy, love it all. Um, okay, so I love that we're kicking off with, of course, our Tara's Must Have. Brand new today. You've already been shopping it, but I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek on all of it. So let's kind of talk about some of the items out here because for me, I curated everything right? Everything you would need, starting with maybe even your mini bakers. Okay. Joy is actually FaceTiming me while we're live here, which is really exciting. So can you, someone stop that? <laughs> Thanks, Joy. Okay. This is fun. Lisa's like, don't turn your phone off in case we have to jump off and get on the phone. And then of course, there we go. Okay. So we have our mini bakers that sit on our tray with our storage covers. The reason why I love this, this could be three different gravies. You could drop ladles right inside here. These could be three of your side dishes. These could be hot dips. These could be cold dips. So many great ways to your mini loaves, the things you love to bake in like banana breads and pumpkin breads. Love this. So again, you can find all of this over at temptations.com. So all individually hand painted like you see here inside and outside, helper handles here on the side. All of them come with that snap on storage cover. So again, this is great if you wanna prep ahead of time and have them in there. The pumpkin soup and sandwich set is fabulous. I ordered it in white. Ooh, I'm gonna highlight that too. That's still at a must have price. So that's exciting. That of course had to make it. And then it sits on this beautiful tray and that tray, of course, you can put in the oven. You can put it in the dishwasher. It goes in the fridge, the freezer, the microwave. It replaces your cookie sheet. It replaces your cutting board. Because we gave it a little lip right here on the side, everything's gonna stay put. So all of your juices, all of your gravies, you never have to worry about anything. Then of course we did some of our great dip bowls. These are fabulous too for think about your cranberry sauce. Think about all of those little things. If you're doing a charcuterie, layering this in and maybe putting some olives inside here. Honestly, I have these in my powder room and I love them. I have cotton balls inside here. I have put my jewelry inside here. So also think about, you know, using these around the house, not just necessarily on your table. Um, and then, yes, we've been talking about that beautiful soup and sandwich. So if you didn't see this when it was a must have, I wanted to give you another highlighted sneak peek because it is just so stunning. Under $20 and you get this gorgeous pumpkin shaped plate with all of that detailing. So we have that embossed leaf that you see there. This is all sculptural as it cascades down that gorgeous bisky white pumpkin. And I love, again, the lifelike silhouette that we get there. And then we put our beautiful soup bowl on top of it. And look how beautiful that is. Again, 16 ounces in total capacity and all of that same detailing. We're gonna get that in focus in just a sec. There you go. And then we're gonna put that lid right on top and you are good to go. We have it in, of course, this beautiful white, um, which is more of like a bisky white. And then we have it in taupe. So what I love about that is this could be individual soups for everybody. This could be individual desserts for everybody if you're picking up multiple sets. And then of course we need the dinnerware, right? We spend so much time with what we're preparing, what the food is, we lay out all of it, and then sometimes we just kind of throw it on the table in whatever dinnerware that we have. So I curated a couple of dinnerware sets that you can check out also. In this case, we did, we have Believe here. If you've never seen Believe before, it's one of the newest patterns in our entire collection. And I love this for Thanksgiving because the story of the humble bumblebee who was never supposed to be able to fly because his body was too big for his wings is all about perseverance and remembering truly that we are better together. So we have, of course, our square dinnerware that so many of you love. We have Believe. And then also think about some of those centerpieces, right? What are we going to put down the center of the table? Well, You've been loving our fiber optic candles. You've been loving, of course, our pre-lit pieces. And I happen to absolutely love our beautiful hurricanes with the fairy lights right there on the inside. All we did, you guys, was take one of our Lazy Susans. We layered it with some of our place card holders. Also layered it with our adorable salt and pepper shaker. Look at that that you see right there, our pumpkins right there. And then, of course, we all, what a great idea. Would you ever consider making the home sign with a green wreath to keep up for the, for the rest of the year? What a great idea. 
Um, and so this has, of course, the fairy lights right here on the inside, which is just beautiful. But again, layering key pieces, and now you've created a centerpiece. So whether you love, you know, the traditional look of our old world flowers, or you even love kind of like our sweet little bee collection, so many things for you to look at and look, look to add to your collection. But, you know, Thanksgiving is always one of those holidays that I love so much. I can always remember my grandparents coming to my my parents' home. And, and I also remember the parade was on and I would be dusting. We all had our chores, right? And Tracy, my sister, she would be uh, polishing the silver. Yes, we mom made us polish the silver. And so while we were bustling and getting ready, she was making all the food. Of course, her sausage stuffing out of this world. My grandmother always brought her specialty dishes. One of them, of course, was, um, what is it, Lise? What's the jello? The uh, ambrosia? ambrosia salad. Thank you. It always looked a little creepy to me, I have to be honest, but it was so good. Nuts in the, no. I am not a nut person in my food. I, I, I like, I need it separate. I can't do the candy bars with the peanuts in it. I can't, I can't. What's your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? My favorite Thanksgiving, well, I can tell you Ed's is pumpkin pie. Okay. Warm or cold? Uh, cold, pumpkin pie cold, in case you can't hear Lisa. I can barely, cause I have my earbuds in. <laughs> What is your favorite dessert? Give me some ideas. Cause I, I guess I'd probably go with the apple pie cause I can put a ton of whipped topping on top of it. Oh my gosh, Sandy was born on Thanksgiving. That's awesome. Well, happy early birthday, Sandy. We'll have to send you a shout out on that day. Ambrosia with walnuts. Don is saying, yes, cranberry and nuts. Mm -hmm. True story, pear and green jello. Oh, I love everybody sharing. Ooh, pecan pie. Pecan pie, again, nuts. I don't know why. And then by the way, when I try it, I actually do like it. So I have to get like past the thought of it, I guess. Um, that salad is delicious. Mom made chocolate cream pie. My, like, how about pot to creme? Oh, pot to creme. MC. MC, I was gonna say, you all know MC, right? Mark Charles Masilli. He makes a, the most delicious pot de creme, okay? Wrap it up, true story. All right, so to go along with your dinnerware, we also have something called our completer sets, right? Where you can have your butter dish, your creamer, your sugar, your salt and pepper, all of those great pieces that you'd wanna take back and coordinate. But I also love these pieces just on their own. Look how sweet this is. Like, I love the fact that it still has the handle, the pour spout, you have that sweet little bee that you see right there, and you have that honeycomb pattern, which is just gorgeous. Of course, we have a ton of lights in here, so I'm trying to get it so it's not reflecting, sorry guys. Um, we have baking pieces in Mila, if you wanna check it out. So if you love kind of that all over sculptural detail, look how gorgeous that is in our three quart oval. So if you need kind of that perfect side dish, maybe something you're gonna be putting your stuffing in. Lisa and I said we were gonna finish this wine after this is over. <laughs> you might think we've already had some of it, but we haven't, we're just so darn excited. Um, but we also have some of our um, uh, raised counter savers here that we have in our harvest. So, and have you noticed the beautiful grounding of the leaves down the center in our washable runners and placemats? I design these because inevitably we're spilling, whether it's wine, whether it's gravy. And, you know, a lot of times, yes, we want to get out, of course, all of our beautiful linens, but a lot of the old school linens, at least the ones that have been handed down to me from my parents and grandparents, are not so stain friendly. So if you wanted to layer this down on top of maybe your linens already and protect them, you can, but it's absolutely stunning. I love it, love it. All right, I'm gonna take a step back here because I wanna also show you some of the other pieces that we have. And these are some of like the bigger pieces. So like when you need that turkey platter, this is a beautiful pumpkin turkey platter, which you'll see in just a minute. We're just gonna zoom in, bear with us. We're just gonna zoom in a little closer, but this is all sculptural. You have all of that gorgeous detail that you see there. And then we also have a bowl that goes along with it. Um, so you can, of course, pick up the bowl as well. And I love that we have, I'm just gonna stay right there. I'm just gonna bring this, a, stay right there. I'm just gonna bring this a little closer and show you again, all of that sculptural pumpkin detail that you see. And do you notice that I did that organic kind of, I call it a torn edge that just frames all of those beautiful pumpkins. And we hear from you loud and clear, you want more white. Um, so I love that we still give you all three dimensions. You can hear my nails running across it. 
um, because it's just absolutely stunning. You could put flameless candles inside here. You could tuck greenery inside here. I don't know if you saw our other must have that we had, but we did these beautiful floral bouquets in our gorgeous um, autumnal colors. So I love the fact, again, you get a set of two. How fun to pop these in. Like just by doing that, hello, done. Two candles on the other side and you have yourself a centerpiece that you'd probably pay a fortune for. Then we also have some larger bowls in pumpkin patch. So again, for all you pumpkin patch lovers out there, look at this low profile. There's something so elegant and fun about creating something in a low profile. Everybody can help themselves. Nothing's really spilling over. Oh, Jesse said she's all about doodle do. Well, stay tuned because there's more doodle do coming your way. Um, Lynn saying, hey girls. Uh, Rosalia said she got the flowers and she loves them. Thank you, Rosalia. Nice to hear that. Appreciate all of the feedback. So also with that comes our serving pieces and of course our bamboo. Um, I want to see that pumpkin server in full color. Ooh, Devin, great idea. Jennifer saying I have those bouquets and love them. Everybody's loving the bouquets. That's so great. Um, and here we actually tucked a couple in our store and more. So if you haven't seen our store and more, this is like our Jagunda trademark term. Just kidding. Uh, Jagunda uh, utensil server, or I also like to use it as a vase. It's got helper handles here on the sides, so it's really nice to take it. You know, we've even made chili inside here, so it's really kind of that chameleon in your kitchen, and I love that we have it in our harvest patterns. And then we also have our lighting, right? Whether it's our candles, whether it's our stacked pumpkins, these are all sculptural. They're all literally hand painted then on top of that gorgeous stoneware, and then it's pierced. So you can set this on a timer. It greets you when you're entering the home, or maybe you're anchoring or flanking them on the table. How beautiful is that as well? And we have gravy boats, and then we have serving platters and salt and pepper shakers and butter dishes, and truly putting together this entire assortment that I curated, um, including that beautiful shatterproof wreath which has some of our beautiful icons on it of the season, our fall leaves. Look how stunning. First of all, just the colors that we get in here, beautiful, the greens, the reds, the oranges, and it's, our, it's shatterproof. So what I love about it, it has fairy lights wrapped around it. Um, I know it's not quite, quite dark enough yet for you to see all the colors, but it's vibrant. It comes to life. I love putting this in the center of the table as well and maybe putting some candles around it, even if it's just something that you leave, not necessarily for the dinner, but as what you're greeting everybody and just kind of setting that beautiful uh, table. It's just those great accents that we also have. So we, of course, have oven gloves that help make it super easy when you're reaching in and out, when you're coming and making all of those amazing meals. Um, so really a fun kind of, how do you like to set your table? Are there any traditions that you've always had that you want to share with us? Uh, oh my God, love the pumpkin stack. It's beautiful. Oh, Jennifer, I have to tell you, it is absolutely stunning. I love everything about it. Even when it's not on, when it's on, it's over the top. But look at how gorgeous we literally, it's like you could pick these leaves, you hear them whipping outside, you start to feel the cool in the air, everything's crisp, and you have these gorgeous individually hand-painted uh, leaf designs with piercings. That is just absolutely beautiful. So where can you find everything? It's over at temptations.com. There's uh, a little area for you to shop where it's all curated. And the whole theme was really about setting your Thanksgiving table, sharing their tr your traditions, um, all of those great things. Um, oh, okay. Let's see. Um, love everything is so pretty. Thank you. Thank you. Who's got some traditions that they love? Who's got their favorite meal that they always love to make or their specialty dish? Lise, what's yours? My specialty dish yeah. that I make yeah. for Thanksgiving? Yeah. Uh, stuffing. stuffing. Mm -hmm. It's the best. It's just do you call it dressing or stuffing? It's well, stuffing it's when you put it in the turkey, right? It's dressing on the side. Honestly, I've always called it stuffing. Same. But and but apparently, I always say they, and Ed's like, who's they? they. I'm like, I don't yeah. know, but they have coined that stuffing is when it's in the bird. Okay. Do you like that? In the bird. It gets, <laughs> it's a wave-like, and uh, dressing is on the side. Um, oh, everyone's loving the stacking. Oh, deviled eggs are Annette's favorite. My, uh, I'm Italian and we eat lasagna, Sherry, love of course, love you, love you. Don't we eat lasagna every time? Uh, store and more is the best. Have five of them. Thank you, Donna. Laura says stuffing. 
I have bowls all around my house full of treats. I love it. Kids and adults love it. Absolutely. Yes, yes. Gina's saying stuffing. Stacy's saying stuff. We got a stuffing winner here. Yeah. You're right about the dressing. Thank you. I'm pretty sure my mom told me like, um, okay, here's the deal. My mom said, don't bump the table. Uh, but I'm pretty sure she she reminded me that one is stuffing and one is dressing. Um, oh, Hub needs cranberry sauce from the can. Oh, in the can shape on a serving plate. <laughs> you know, you could actually do that right inside here because P.S. And by the way, we have uh, put that can on its side and then it just makes it super easy to serve from. So how fun is that? Are the letters printed on both sides? No, the letters are printed on one side and then solid on the back. So and then we were showing you we have the harvest. This is our latest and greatest must have available now over at um, temptations.com. All of this is our curated little shop area. And then your holiday one has, of course, the sweet uh, letters with the um, bulbs around the edges. Um, you could say ho. Ho, ho, ho. You could have a lot of fun, I'm sure, with these. Uh, we should try to think of all the different words that we can come up with. I like this because if you Yes. You could say ho, 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 and then other rooms you would say me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that all? Lisa, buy three sets, you can have ho, 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 and then in other rooms you could put me, me, me. You know, like in, in the bedroom, in the, where would you, where would you put the me? In every, any room. Any room goes the me. Oh my God, I love you. You're hilarious. Um, okay, so what else, Lisa? Anything else we want to chat through? Mm, I mean, so you guys are awesome. So much fun. All right. Question. Yes. All right. Yes. If you could only have one thing to eat on Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. what would it be? If I could only have one thing to eat mm -hmm. on Thanksgiving, what would it be? Mm -hmm. I'm probably going to go with my grandmother's ambrosia salad because no one can replicate it and we've never been able to have it again. Um, yeah. Is that a bummer? It's a one -time. It's lovely. Thank you. That would be what I would want to have. Mm -hmm. And a close backup. <laughs> would be um my mom's red bliss mashed potatoes mm -hmm. oh, they're amazing e well i mean, I mean yeah, we, need the recipe. we need a friend's giving yeah, and we we'll do. make all of our dishes and this would be a lot of fun and then that. we can do that oh john brady john brady's on the board feeling better we heard so all of our temptation easters are have their prayers out uh, for John Brady that he gets well soon. Um, Shane, if you can get if you can get both, you can spell mom. Aw, that's sweet. That's sweet, Shane. See? Oh, cheesy rice casserole. Love, love, love. Yeah. Um, I have had uh, many a Thanksgivings with uh, David Venable, and he does make a brown rice casserole, cheesy casserole. It is so good. Yeah. I just, I'm sure it's been in one of his cookbooks. Uh, the Sauvignon Blanc. Oh, Lisa, you've tried our wines. Yay. Yes, we have um, a Sauvignon Blanc. And then we also, we did, we did um, our reds. And of course, we did our Cabernet Sauvignon. Our Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc. Remember that? I think I told you guys this. We, Lisa and I were shooting videos and content all day. And we got to the wine and I'm like, and here's our Cabernet Sauvignon Blanc. And Lisa's like, Oh, well, that's a wrap. Cut. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> oh, Kim from Dover, Delaware. Hey, Kim, I'm pretty sure I drove by you today on my way up to Pennsylvania. So I said a quick hello. Uh, cheese, rice, and broccoli casserole. Delicious. A lot of times you make those with like the Lipton soup packets, oh, right? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Anything with a soup packet. Campbell soup packets. My mouth just water. Okay. Uh, ooh, please make a Chardonnay and a dry rosé. I love it. It's like I'm, a, I'm your bartender. What else can I get you? <laughs> I love that. Yeah, taste tests. Exactly. All right, everybody. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. This was so much fun. Thanks for bearing with us as we launch some new technology, which is really exciting. Just makes it easier for me to chat with all of you. Um, pickle roll-ups, always a favorite app. Grace, I need to know what a pickle roll-up is. Seriously, because pickles are Ed's favorite. Do you know what a pickup roll up? A pickup. A pickle roll up is? Oh, I want to know. I want to know. I want to know. Um, look at everybody's joining from Iowa and Texas. Oh, hey, y'all. See, then I get to do like, oh, hey, y'all. I always joke that um, I went to school in West Virginia. So every once in a while, I get like that little y'all. And then I'm like, what happened? What, 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 what? <laughs> New York, West Virginia, the two, uh, whatchamacallits collide uh what, what's the word i want to say inflection collides and then I, I don't know i don't know what's happening 
Yeah. Lisa's like, get the hook, wrap her up. It's <gasps> Debbie stuffed artichokes. Lisa would love that, Debbie. Oh. If you could stuff them with olives and figs, she would be over the moon. <laughs> over the moon. Wait, did you see what Stacy said? What'd Stacy say? Pickle wrap and cream cheese and ham. Oh, he's vegan now, but I would love that. I would love that. Oh, yum. Pickle roll ups. So that sounds amazing. All right, you guys. Well, I adore you. Thanks for joining us. Check out the Tara's Must Have. Check out this really sweet curated collection to kind of get you Thanksgiving ready. Set a beautiful table. Add a little beauty to your home. Um, and then the everyday kind of pieces that you'll need from baking pieces and serving pieces and decor and more. See what I did there? All right, you guys. Adore you. Thank you. We will see you all soon. And thanks for jumping on and spending some time as we set our Thanksgiving table. Bye.